Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I will also throw my Instagram name up on the screen if you'd like to go and follow me there. Today I have yet again another haul video. So if you are excited for this video, give me some thumbs up and keep on watching. I do have a few different things to show you guys. I was trying to hold off, but I really wanted to get this video up because I've already done some first impressions on these and they will be coming to my channel very soon. So I kind of wanted to get my haul video up for you guys because I do know that some of you guys really like seeing the haul before the first impression. So that's why I'm doing this. I do have a few more packages that are coming in that are not in yet. So there will probably be another haul video very soon. I know I keep saying that, but honestly, right now I have a very bad spending problem. So things should start to slow down here soon. And it's going to be more first impressions and that type of ordeal. Get ready with me and I promise my makeup collection is coming. But the first thing that I picked up, I have had my eyes on for so long. You guys know I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love the eyeshadow palette formulas so much. I have so many of them. So I had to pick up the Rivera palette and I could not wait to dive into this one. As I am filming this video, I have not played with this one yet and I cannot wait to. The colors are so beautiful. This is a haul so I might as well get this out and show you guys. It does have kind of like the packaging this time around it feels kind of like jean. Like it's like a like a jean jacket or something like that. It's really pretty though, very beachy. That is my only thing that I'm kind of like, hmm, about is if it's anything like last year, you guys know they came up with soft glam in the springtime and it was like, that's really good. It's like, it's not like tons of bright colors, but it's like a soft sultry to where it's really good for the springtime. And then in the summertime, they launched Norvina, and honestly, that could be good for spring or summertime. It was so beautiful. But does this palette not just like scream summertime? So I am a little confused there. Like, I don't know, maybe they're not coming out with another palette this summer. I'm not sure. But I feel like this would have been such a good summertime palette, especially when you guys see the inside. I'm sure you guys have already seen this on social media, but... I mean, just scream summertime to me. So this is going to be really fun to play with in the summertime. But yeah, I cannot wait to start some looks already. I am so excited. And I actually said, I believe it was even in a video, that I was really hoping that they would eventually do a full-on bright spectrum of colors. And that is what we have here for sure. I am so excited about this and I cannot wait to do a whole first impressions on this. So while I was at it, I did pick up the new dewy set from Anastasia as well. I'm really excited about this product. It's supposed to have kind of like a coconut vanilla scent, which is actually my favorite. I love coconut and I love vanilla scents, but this is what it looks like. The bottle is very shiny. I can't say it does look like its own thing, but... This does look a whole lot of like the MAC Fix Plus. So I do kind of feel like it's kind of like a copycat moment with that. You kind of have like the little slider up top like the MAC and the button on top and kind of like that ordeal. It is a pretty fine mist. It does smell really good. I am really excited about that. I did pick up both of these at Ulta because Ulta has been doing their... 21 days of Ulta Beauty and you guys know I'm a sucker every single time. So I do have a Ulta box right here of stuff that I have been collecting from this haul. can honestly say out of the last few 21 days of Ulta Beauty, I did not spend that much this time. And honestly, there was just a lot of stuff that didn't really like just call out to me. And that's like the only reason I have to give you guys that I didn't purchase more. But I did pick up some stuff, so I will go ahead and show you. While I have the Dewey set out, I did want to show you guys this. I know it's a little excessive, but I was running very low on my original Mac Fix Plus. So I was going to buy a new one anyways. And I seen that they were going to have it a part of the 21 days 
So I was like, oh, that's the perfect opportunity to go ahead and stock up on it. And that's honestly what I do with the 21 Days of Ulta Beauty is just really take advantage of the cells and stock up on brow products and mascaras and, you know, that type of ordeal. But setting sprays are another one that's like, if you can get 50% off, then that's really good. So I did pick up the Coconut Mac Fix Plus. I know so much alike, but still, I love my Mac Fix Plus. I don't know how this one's going to be yet. This is supposed to be dewy, so the formula is supposed to be completely different than each other, but we will see. Um, but yeah, this is the Coconut Prep and Prime Fix Plus. So this is just coconut, and this one is coconut vanilla scented. So what I mean by the bottles being so much alike, they are almost the same size. This one does have glitter on it, kind of to go with the dewy set, but bottle-wise, they look pretty close. The sprayers are a little different. White cap, black cap, but honestly... Pretty much the same. I really like the MAC Fix Plus spray, the bottle, the whole setup of it, so I am really excited about this. You want to go ahead and spray the MAC because I want to see what it smells like. I've only always had just the original. It's hard because I'm wearing lotion and because I'm getting over a minor head cold, so it's kind of hard to smell, but it does smell good too. I will definitely have to kind of compare them more together when I can smell a lot better. So two more products that I picked up from MAC is their Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And I have been wanting to get a new like eyeshadow base that's not necessarily a primer, but not necessarily a concealer because that's like all I use. You guys know that, but so many people use these and compare these to like a concealer. I thought I would go ahead and try them out. 50% off. You can't really beat that. I wasn't sure which one to buy. So I see a lot of fair people use soft ochre. So I did pick up this one. It does look a lot more yellow in person now that I have it than what I was expecting because a lot of fair people go for this. It is just an eyeshadow base. You're going to be covering it up, so it's not a big deal. But I was a little, like, shocked about that. The other one that I got is actually the one that Jeffree Star uses. So I was like, okay, he's pale, I'm pale, so I think I can make it work. And that's painterly, and it definitely is a lot paler. I feel like this one will work a lot better for me. It has a little bit of pink hues, though, so... I feel like if there was like a good in between, that would be perfect, but I am still excited that I have both of them. I would definitely use both of them just for different looks, and I just can't wait to see how well they work at keeping the eyeshadow in place and how good they are at priming my lids and covering my veins and all that kind of stuff that I use a concealer for. Okay, the last two products that I have in so far from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is the Clinique Moisture Surge. I've talked about this before. This is my favorite moisturizer when it comes to my face. I love this stuff so much. It is the like light gel pink moisturizer. You guys have probably seen it around. I did just pick up this bottle. This size, they had 50% off, so that's why I grabbed it. I do still have some of my other one left, but like I said, I like to buy backups because this stuff is not cheap. The full size bottle that I actually already have is 50 something dollars. And it is so much, but I swear by it. It is such a good moisturizer. I honestly only use it every few days because it keeps my skin really good and hydrated. But when I go through a really dry spell, it is the great pick-me-up. So I did buy that. With that, they also had the Bye Bye Redness from It Cosmetics on sale. This is the Neutralizing Correcting Cream. So I had thought that this was more of like a foundation type ordeal. Not foundation, but maybe like a tinted moisturizer type ordeal. And then I got this in the mail. And I'm like, that is tiny. I did not expect it. But nevertheless, I will definitely try it out. It is pretty pale, but at the same time does kind of have like yellow undertone, so I'm hoping it works for me. It is the Transforming Porcelain Beige. I'm going to go ahead and I have swatches all over me. I'm going to do it down here. So it does look a little yellow on my arm. So I don't really know what to expect with this or if I would just use it as a color corrector under foundation. I'm not really like that type of person that has to do that, but 
bought it, so I might as well use it for something. And with that, I actually got this for free. This is the AG Hair Care Cocoa Nut Milk Conditioning Spray. That's a mouthful, but this is what it looks like. It's just a regular spray bottle. You actually are supposed to spray this in your hair. Oh my gosh, that's a really weird scent. It's very strong, but you're supposed to spray this in damp hair, I believe. So I think this is, it says lightweight cocoa nourishes hair like a superfood smoothie. Coconut oil, coconut fruit, fruit extract, macadamia extract, and mango seed butter help detangle, strengthen, and hydrate, leaving hair feeling soft and manageable. I need that. The silicone-free formula is ideal for medium to thick hair types or those prone to knots. So that is me. My hair is so thick. That is one of the biggest reasons why I chopped it off. It is so thick. And even then, we had to like thin it and thin it and thin it. It's just so thick. So... I will definitely be trying that out. The scent is rather strong. The last thing I got from Ulta so far, I do have another Ulta package coming, but it is not in yet. I actually just bought like the ABH stuff. It was not part of the 21 Days of Beauty, but this is the new I Do Care Mini Scoops Mini Ice Cream Flavored Wash Off Mask Set. These are so freaking adorable. I love I Do Care. I actually do a lot of Instagram videos with these because they're so cute, but the masks are really nice. They came out with the full size, and I believe they're only like $20, $25, but they look like little ice cream containers. So cute. But I did want to try them out and see which one is my favorite before I bought them because you guys know me and I love all kinds of skincare and masks. But I did get the three set. So we have the Matcha Mood Soothing Green Tea Wash Off Mask. And it is, of course, the green. It's supposed to be like mint ice cream, but it is green on the inside. And then we have the Berry Groovy Brightening Glycolic Wash Off Mask. So this is supposed to be more of like a soothing mask. I really like that. This is more of a brightening mask. But I love brightening mask too. And then this one is hydrating. You guys know I'm dry skin, so I would definitely like the hydrating. That's why it's hard for me to pick when it comes to stuff like that. And I'm like, I really don't need to be that excessive and spend $75 on masks like that all together, you know? So this set, I believe, was $20. So you can try them all out. And usually with these containers, I can get about two uses. So it's not too bad, but... I know a lot of people are not happy about it. This is the brightening one though. It does smell like berry. Oh, it smells so good. The other one does kind of have like a minty scent to it. And then this is the Cake My Day Hydrating Sprinkle Wash Off Mask. And there's actual sprinkles in it. And it smells like cake batter. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to be good and diet, but man, that smells good. That is it from Ulta for now. Like I said, more products will be coming in and I will probably do another haul on them if you guys are liking these. If you do like my haul videos, give me some thumbs up because like I said, I really do go through buying spells and I would love to share it with you guys if you guys are up for it. I'm not ending this video yet because this wouldn't be a haul without ColourPop. I have this big box here filled with ColourPop products. So one of them will be coming to the channel extremely soon because I've already filmed with it. And that is the spring collection from ColourPop. I did go ahead and buy it. I was kind of back and forth on it, but I was like, it's so pretty. I don't think I can pass it up. So these products have been swatched and messed with because I have done full first impression. I'm not giving any spoilers, nothing. You guys can actually go see the look on my Instagram if you want, but the full video will be coming very soon. And this is what the palette looks like. It's so beautiful. They actually have Super Shock Shadows in this, so that's really cool. ColourPop is just crazy good, I swear. But yeah, it's such a stunning palette. I had to pick that up. While I was at it, I also picked up three new Super Shock Cheek blushes from the Spring Collection. You kind of have like a berry moment going on with this one, and this is the shade Yes, She Did. It's super pretty. And then we have... Count Me In, which is like a lighter everyday pink mauve shade, super pretty. And then Get Laid, L-E-I-D, so like a lay. And it is definitely very vibrant coral. 
Don't worry, I did swatches in my first impression, so you guys will see that soon. From this collection, I also picked up two of the Jelly Mutt shadows. I got Doves and Roses, which is like a red, pink, it's hard to explain, but it's such a beautiful color. Some of it's on the lid, a lot of it's on the lid, but that is the shade and it is so beautiful. I love the formula of these, they're really nice. I know some people aren't like a huge fan of them, but I actually really like them. I also got Close To You, which is a very holographic pink shade, super pretty. Swatches of those are also in that video. And I also did swatches of these two that I picked up. I only picked up two of the new Cream Luxe lipsticks in this collection. I got the Seven Springs, which is like a orange shade, rather outside my comfort zone, but super pretty. I definitely need to do an orange video soon. And Spring Roll, which is more of a mauve, up my alley, dusty rose type of shade. Like I said, that video will be coming very soon, but while I was at it with the spring collection, I did pick up a couple more of the mascaras. So I picked up the Kiss and Teal shade, which is a vibrant teal shade. So beautiful. And I also picked up Pink Ink, which is very vibrant as well. So besides that, as I am filming this, I do have another ColourPop collection to show you guys, but I'm actually going to wait until my next haul video because I do have another Ulta package coming. I have a couple other on top of that, including Beautylish coming. So I would like to just show you guys all of those in another video. So this one isn't too long. It'll probably be coming within probably next week or the week after that, so just be on the lookout for it. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. Remember to give me some thumbs up if you're loving these haul videos, and thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what products you picked up from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty because I would love to know, and I will see you guys in my next video.